Well, Dad, uh, afternoon. After uh, failing quite miserably this morning to uh, finish rendering the ceiling, mainly because I've run out of cement stuff, um, yeah, I decided to leave that. I'll buy some more of that, uh, buy some more stuff tomorrow. It's uh, MH19, what I was using. Um, don't really know it consists of, but it does go quite tacky, so um, it does, does stick quite well. Um, certainly better than some cement render, which I did try, uh, just to see if I could finish off skimming where I needed to. Uh, but yeah, <laughs> I failed quite badly at that. Um, so I've given up on that for today. Um, I haven't given up on it. Just it's just you know I'd rather have the MH19 stuff and give it another well with that. Um, we'll probably pick that up when we uh, go out tomorrow. So this afternoon, what I thought I'd do is put a little bit of straw, whatever, in the bottom of compost bin. So what I'm going to do is get it from this barn here. Um, we haven't been in this barn, but I don't know from the other side that there is some straw in there. So I'm just going to scrape some up and stick it in the compost pile. So it really doesn't have a, a door. It just had a lean-to thing. Um, I just pushed it and it fell over. Um, I didn't realise it weren't hinged anyway. Uh, the walls on this are quite thick. As you can see, the just down there. Um, roof level's a bit low, but yeah, this is how they built them. Uh, and the other thing that was in the doorway <laughs> was a car parcel shelf, or van, or whatever it's been, but it's parcel shelf off one. Um, quite an old one by the look of that. Uh, yeah. So. <clears throat> Just going to kick that door further, further into the uh, barn so I can get in and lift it up because uh, it's got quite a lot of wire near the bottom. I'm just going to be a bit careful there and then we'll, uh, we'll have a bit better look inside. I can see that there is some straw on the floor. Uh, you can see the other side of the barn where I pulled some bits out. So, you know, I have sort of looked in, but I haven't sort of been in here. Uh, sort of posts up there, an umbrella. Yeah, it's quite a big barn, actually. I don't know what the box is in the corner. I had noticed that before, but uh, I've yet to investigate. So I've just started pulling a little bit of this out. Uh, it's so dusty, it's... Uh, Making me breathing bad, so I need some dust masks, and I haven't got one at the moment. So, another job I'm going to leave for now. So, <laughs> yeah, I don't seem to be doing very well today. Um, yeah, these things happen, you know, that's the way it goes. Uh, I hadn't really planned doing this, so uh, then you don't realise how, how dusty it's going to be, but uh, better left than. Uh, you know, cause more problems, so I'm going to leave that for now. Um, I think what I'm going to do is get my saw out <laughs> and chop some of this wood up. Not very interesting, I know, so I won't be uh, recording that. Uh, yeah, you know, we seem to have bits dotted about all over, so all little jobs, you know, but they can be done in bits and bobs. So the uh, Trees I was going to take down in bits and bobs over the next few days, whatever, you know, just doing them as I had time to fit them in as a little job. Um, farmers from next door just brought his chainsaw down and just chopped them all up for me. <laughs> Five minutes, you know, as quick as that. And yeah, the quince what I'd left because I didn't have anything to do it with. Um, well, he's just taken straight off, uh, which is great. Uh, <laughs> I was going to be cheeky and I say, is there any way you can split up? <laughs> <laughs> now I've got uh, some splitters, 
so we'll have a go at that at some point dry them out a little bit first i think um but yeah just straight away no bother at all didn't ask her me just popped around and straight away just did it for me it's great but i must say it did uh stand laughing at my little electric saw for five minutes or so <laughs> thinks it's uh funny that uh, i'm just messing about with this thing um you know <laughs> but i am only doing sort of smaller branches so it, it's not too much hassle hola bom dia so this morning we're heading out to castella branco uh, we're meeting our friends Darren and Elaine from Pips Off Grid, living off grid, sorry. Um, and we're going to go have some lunch with them. And then we're going to have a look for a couple of just cheap kitchen units and a worktop just to uh, try and make the kitchen a little bit better than it is at the moment. It's very difficult trying to work on two camping tables with plastic cloths on. Um, so yeah, so looking forward to doing that. And anything else we're doing while we're in Castello Branco? No, I think that's about it. I need some more um, render for the ceiling. MH19, I think I was using. Um, but one of the reasons why we're getting kitchen units is the two tables are very low. So They're giving me backache. Giving well, they're giving back. everybody backache. <laughs> yeah. Not just me. So, yeah, that's one of the main reasons. We need a bit more height on them. They're, they're just too low. So yeah, we'll um, we'll talk to you shortly. We're on our way back now from Castello Branco. Steve's smiling because this is about take five. Uh, we've also managed to order the kitchen, so that's coming next week. So we've got a lot of prepping to do this week, so we can start uh, building the cabinets and putting the work top on, etc. So yeah, we're just going to call it fun down now on our way home and. Uh, get a couple of bits from there and we'll see you shortly so apart from the empty wobbles <laughs> um, while we've been in Castellos today we've ordered some units for the kitchen only for a temporary kitchen then they're going into Welly Roses uh, got some more MH19 for doing the kitchen ceiling uh, a racking for some clothes and some shelving for me for the garage workshop and I forgot them, the face masks, dust masks, so they'll come in handy. So after uh, Sunday's attempt at uh, rendering, um, I went and got the MH19, which we used before. Yeah, we were, we were in Castello Branco anyway, uh, having a little with uh, Pips living off grid. And uh, yeah, we thought we'd call into Leroy Merlin's, get a couple of bits. Um, but they didn't actually <laughs> have the MH19 in. Uh, they don't seem to sell products, uh, sand and products like that. Uh, so we went on our way back, we called into fun down and got some anyway. Um, so anyway, this morning I'm going to have another attempt at just finishing me sealing off, uh, get a bit of this render up, or cutting up, whatever it is. And, uh, and then leave it an hour or so to flatten. While it's uh, flattening, I'm going to start at the other end of the kitchen where it's water stained, uh, scrape it off a little bit, and put some uh, damp paint on it, leave that to dry. And hopefully, while that's drying, I'll go to the other end and uh, do some more painting or rendering if it needs some more gaps filling uh it depends what it needs so we'll see how i get on this morning anyway so as you can see it mixes to a nice sort of creamy consistency and it's quite claggy as you can see on the end of the tool mixer so hopefully that'll stick a little bit better so this is going a lot on a lot lot better for me um i know it's not level yet and it will want tidying up as it dries but so leave it three or four hours before you wipe it over. Uh, so I've done the worst patch what I had to fill um, from Sunday. 
I'm just going to work my way out now and just give it a, a bit of a skim out here just to level it a bit more and tidy it up a bit more. Uh, I'm never going to get it flat flat because one, the rest of the ceiling's like that anyway and well sort of modelled and two because <laughs> yeah I haven't got the skills to get it as flat as you know just flat smooth so practice will make perfect but uh, yeah it doesn't need to be dead flat here too far or what but seems to uh, seem to be doing what I want at the moment so I'm just coming up to the last little bit. Uh, I am getting a bit better as I've gone, <laughs> as you can probably tell. Uh, this bit only wants a bit of a, a thin coating just to even up to the edges. I'm trying not to go too thick. Not too much at a time. brickies or whatever can tell me why I keep getting like bubble holes. I got the odd one or two which I just don't seem to be able to get rid of and as I'm going over it I seem to get bubbles every now and again. Hopefully when I uh, float it in it will take them out but yeah if not I'll just have to put a little bit more in at a later date. But, uh, yeah, I think it's going a lot better at the moment. to join. Put it down there to do, but 
I don't really want to do that. Because <laughs> I'm going to get into trouble. <laughs> Watch the food mixer. <laughs> Otherwise I'll be having concrete cakes. And I certainly don't get them at the moment. You make lovely cakes. I was just going to say, <laughs> you nearly got yourself into trouble then. Saved it last minute. <laughs> <laughs> I'm panicking now. <laughs> if I'd have known you were going to come that far across, I'd have moved it. I, I weren't going to come this far across. I was only going to go sort of in that patch there, but I just thought if I do this it will all float in together. Yeah. Get yourself more work, you know what I'm like. <laughs> that was close. <laughs> Yeah, I'm just a bit thick near the edges in some places, so I would have rather had that a bit better, but... It's going to be a very rustic house. I like rustic. It's going to be rustic when I'm doing it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I finished that bit off. self-plastered as well. <laughs> Just a different way of getting plastered. <laughs> If you can see how beautiful it is behind me. I've just been saying to Debbie it was uh, about minus five, minus six this morning. Uh, now we're Otty Matella. Uh, it's don't know whether you can see that, but it's uh, more or less 15 degrees now. So good rising temperature. Uh, this gets called an Otty Matella because I couldn't get my words out one day. Couldn't think what they called it, so it got an Otty Matella. So I'm just uh, finishing off um, sponging in. Uh, it does say to float it in. I haven't got a float and to be honest I don't really want that sort of real smooth finish. I want it something like this. So I'm just trying to rough it up a bit with the sponge as I go. Uh, my edges are a little bit high but yeah, I'm not good enough to uh, get everything perfect. Certainly not at the moment. I'll keep practicing. But, uh, well, I'm impressed with that. I think it looks real good. It's a lot better than I was expecting it to be, to be honest. Thank you. <laughs> no, I don't mean it like that. No, I have one or two little holes, which I did say about earlier, that I, I got some bubbles in yeah. and I don't quite know what to do. So. Once it's dry, I'll just scrape a bit of something in them if I need to. Um, but on the whole, yeah, I'm pretty impressed. Uh, yeah. And also, if you can see here, it's like a textured paint that they've put on. So we'll do that over that bit as well, so that it kind of blends in. I think yeah. it will when it's, uh, when it's painted and it's stippled in. It should blend in. It'll be yeah. these edges. What won't be very good, they're a bit high. But well, yeah, it's what it is, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, I ain't bothered about that because that'll have some wood around there. 
<laughs> yeah. For me hatch. Uh, well, this bit's a bit, yeah, a bit too deep. I'll do what I can do, but that's, uh, yeah. Yeah, I'm pretty happy yeah, with that. I'm pretty happy with that. It's okay. not perfect. It's not builder's finish, but it's. But you're it's, not a builder. It's it's up, and I'm happy. <laughs> <laughs> So today I'm going to attempt to do a Portuguese dish. Somebody in the comments mentioned about trying something Portuguese. So let's see how it goes. It's a chicken dish. So I need, um, well it says four cloves of garlic, but these are quite big. So I'm just going to use two. skin out. I'll deal with that later. Tablespoon of lemon juice. Just that goes in. One bay leaf. A third of a cup of whiskey. My best whiskey. <laughs> the only whiskey in the house is Steve's whiskey. So that might be up for debate. We'll carry on for now. One teaspoon of paprika. Two tablespoons of olive oil. Oh, wait a minute, because I was half in the recipe. Yep, sorry, that's one tablespoon of olive oil. And that's it. So I'm now going to pinch a splash of your whiskey. And while you're holding the camera, you can't do anything about it. <laughs> this is unfair. <laughs> I could drink it. So unfortunately, all we've got is Steve's special whiskey. It's not that special. But it's a decent it single malt. A third of a cup. Yeah, but you're half in the recipe. No, Lou, splash. <laughs> Don't be so tight. Give that a good stir. Make sure I've got all the ingredients in. Yep. So I've sliced into the skin and the flesh on the three chicken legs. And now the marinade that I made earlier, I'm just going to spoon it over. Pressing it in. Might have been better brushed in, but um, we're in chaos again. Steve's working on the kitchen. So that's going to go in the fridge now for at least an hour. Um, and then it's ready to cook. So next I'm going to make the piri piri sauce, which it says a third of a cup of olive oil. So I'd say about that. Um, half a lemon juice, juice of half a lemon. It's probably about a tablespoon. And then it's asking for red chilies, two red chilies. Um, but I don't have any chilies, as you know, I don't have the kitchen space. So I'm going to pop in about half a good teaspoon of chilli powder 
and then we need some more garlic in there. So, garlic clove. I'm just going to leave that covered and um, let all the flavours infuse while the chicken's in the uh, fridge because that goes on the chicken before you cook it. So that's the finished result. Uh, it was in the oven about 40 45 minutes on uh, 200 to 220. It was about 200. Yeah, it's quite nice. Um, if anybody wants, wants anything a little bit more spicy, it needs a little bit more chilli on it probably, but uh, for me it's just about right. I think I'll need more chilli on mine, but it's the first time I've done it, so we'll just experiment with the ingredients and the quantities. Two new babies on the farm next door. I believe they're both girls from what I can make out from the farmer, but my uh, Portuguese is not very good. I think they're about three days old, that's all. They were just playing a minute ago.